Hi everybody, I'm Varacti, and I'm back after a hiatus of three, maybe four months. I, I fell out of doing Let's Plays after I joined the local Renaissance Festival for my state, and I've been having a lot of fun then, or there. And I still have a month to go, and I was planning on starting Let's Plays again when I get my new place, but I've really been missing it, and really been missing just playing games for fun, and playing spooky games while recording, so here I am. I made some time, and I'm excited. I'm bringing a new game to my repertoire uh, called The Park. A friend of mine recommended it to me and said it was pretty short but pretty good. And I actually have some of my uh, games that I have been playing before my hiatus. I saved some episodes, but I just haven't published them yet. But I figured I should do a new game and say, hey, I'm back before I get into those because I feel it would be disjointed in my story of let's playing spooky stuff so yeah we're gonna we're gonna start this up and yes we're we're doing this narrative experience dark room headphones disturbing to some players park may manipulate graphics audios oh may manipulate my safety would it just that is just delightful i am just so darn excited actually way back in the day there I, I can't remember what it's called i'm sure some of you might remember but there was this this zombie circus game this zombie theme park game where everyone in it was zombies i think it was like a rail shooter like in the arcades and stuff i i can't quite remember but it always freaked me the heck out it just had the perfect aesthetic to spook me and, and like theme parks themselves aren't really too scary to me my heart and mind. but but i but the creepy ones place. definitely are I love Zombie Land though. Mm. Pacific Playland, I, I'll go there any day. Yeah. Where's Mr. Bear? Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. I have a friend named Callum. He's British. Oh, look at those mom jeans. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Oh, here we go. Stay in the car. Said no proper parent ever. Oh, balls. Oh! Wait, what? Can I not move? What is going on? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. That was, that was bizarre. Even my keyboard didn't work there for a second. Okay, Callum, go it in there. You just you just stay right here with the windows roll down just enough to that uh a candy van can come and get ya. It's great. Can I run? As much as I want to just say go over here super slow. Hello. Oh. All right. Still over there, Callum? You still over there? Probably not. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite so place in the world. Favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of the Solden Island and the people who use their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. Let this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect, infect all those who follow after. So his birthday is May 1977. Yeah, that's creepy. I already forgot why I'm going back. But hello, there's a human being. Hello, human being. What? What's going on here? Oh, you don't look like you're doing so good. Maybe you should unbutton those jeans. Not in a sexy way, but more in a... Like, you look like you're, you're getting cut off. How do you know I lost Stop. his teddy bear? I think he warned his friend to the park. I'll run off and get it for you. No, seriously, those those mom jeans look like they're strangling her ability to breathe. Oh my gosh, I want to kind of go back there and check out the the fact if he's still there or not. But the fact that I move so freaking slow. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Oh, what the balls? 
Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Oh, that's. that's why is it so bulgy? I guess I should use the one that that's green. Oh, hi, George Washington. Oh wait, no. Hi, Willy Wonka. More pervy Willy Wonka. Hey, gonna make a gonna make a park for all the kids. My good friend Michael Jackson helped me out. Gonna he he helped me he built me build the place. Cause we're both creepers. Oh, blah blah blah. I wanted to create a place that captures the essence of Sullivan Island. You know, a place for families to bring their children to create memories of their own. I invite you to explore this park we have created from the Ferris wheel which rivals the local lighthouses for the best views of the area to the sideshow alley where we have many fascinating games and objects from the blah 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 for the big ones. Okay, we got, we got, I'm sure we're going to find out all of these places here. Yeah, so I hope you have a good time in Pacific Playland. No zombies here. Callum, where are you going? Oh my gosh, I can't move manually. Ah! Oh, I should listen. Line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. Oh my gosh, you really think about this a lot, don't you, lady? Back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention, I'm throwing heat. Oh. Have a safe journey home. Couldn't that guy have gotten security to help me look for the kid or something? This place has to have security. And that's not bueno. Wait for mommy, Callum. Uh, okay. Oh, mother of pearl. That is... Okay, so the, the moon is out now. Also, if, if you weren't aware, I've just been spamming the B button. The B button is what makes me shout for my kid. And this, this is. Oh, God. oh thank God. There's running. Callum. Is that Callum right there? Callum? Callum, Callum, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. Little, little spider monkey, this guy. Oh, that's creepy. Why would anyone even. Why would anyone even when it's like nice and bright out? Ah, you stupid. Where have a giant face like that? This is, this is really creepy. Callum. Wait, Callum. Callum. Callum's a little snot nosed brat. Callum. I can't sprint any farther. Mommy. Mommy needs. Mommy needs a waist that. Your jeans that don't strangle her. Stop. Kill him. Wait, is that a guy under the lamp? On, mommy. <laughs> hey, okay. Okay, just. Wait, Callum, what's this? People just leave their trash. Hello, security. Can somebody help me catch my snot-nosed brat? Ooh, look a shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. Great, great. We gotta. That means we can run faster than him. Hello, creepy squirrel man. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just the drunk guy in a suit. Very drunk. Chad the chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Park. Atlantic Island Park. Chat to me soon in daily ice sculpting shows. Hello, name, blah, blah, blah. Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Boy, oh boy. Callum, we need to get out of here. Chad is a useless slob. Oh, that got darker. What is this? Oh, a handwritten note. This is. Purchased the land on Solomon Island for pit pittance. I might add, whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name, people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. And the lawyers had arranged everything in advance. Sounds like Jurassic Park. But the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The, the lad remembers, sir. I'm a businessman, and I dismissed him shortly afterwards, saying, Ha! Huh, I will make this park for tiny children. Mostly amused by his pathetic attempts of warning me off. 
I have a great vision for this place. What? Hold on. I have a great vision for this place. And I will see to that vision through the very end. That park is the, the name is perfect. I can't imagine being anything else. This is this is the start of something amazing. Yeah. Callum. Callum. Stop being a little snot, Callum. Okay. Okay, bruh. Do we have to go on the swan ride? Atlantic Island, where are we? Where's the you are here? Tunnel of Tails. Are we at the Tunnel of Tails? Frick, what was that noise? I think it was just the water. I have a bad feeling about turning around. Wait, are you on the boat? Are you on the boat, you little snot? Stay where you are. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. Here we go. Uh, oh, Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, that's a great, great story that ends well in any non-modern rendition of the, the story. Stop, Callum! <laughs> Callum! My swan will catch up to your swan eventually! I mean, I swear I saw him go up there, but I really needed to investigate the swan ride first. Is that a thing on the roof? I see something on the roof. Oh, a bunch of hanging wires. I'm not about this life. No. Near a great oh. forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife oh. and his two children. Oh, that sounds nice. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Oh, they I'm they sure they were very poor knew. and had very little to fight or to fight. Hmm. Sucks to suck. Sucks what to suck. Come of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest oh. and abandon them there. Frick. No, my wife. I cannot do that. Okay. Can we just focus on the, the Hansel and the Gretel? Please. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. Uh, she crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground. Mm-mm. Uh, uh, oh, is that a... Oh, that's a squirrel guy. That's a chat or whatever his face is. Callum, why did you go? The next morning, oh, that is too freaking creepy. And why is he standing right there? I can't do anything to stop him. Oh, hello. Hello, Clever. Chad. Should I look at him? Should I not look at him? Maybe I should avoid his eye contact. Maybe I should avoid eye contact. Okay, I'm avoiding eye contact. At behest, if I'm using that right, behest of my, my better judgment. Please just keep going. We're gonna pretend we didn't see that squirrel there. Moose and squirrel. I totally was not paying attention to the story. Yeah. That's great. Deep into the forest again. Oh, hi, mother. Oh, balls. Oh! oh I'm getting led deep into the, the cave forest. Should I be calling for my kid more? Oh, won't let me kid call for my kid. Is the squirrel behind me? Where's Moose? I could use the Winchester, speaking of which. They would solve this in no time flat. Oh, man. Sucks to suck. Talk about bad parenting. I mean, I know I, like, I let my kid run into a, a theme park by himself. But they're really bad parenting. The children stumbled into a clearing oh. in an exceedingly strange yeah. house. Oh, and I wonder I wonder if it's made of gingerbread. Oh, it is! It is made of gingerbread! Mmm, yum. Can we talk about how that squirrel was standing on the rock? That's, that's great. I hope he didn't get fat and then get cooked. Oh, there she is. Nibbity, nibbity! Nibbity, nibbity! 
Well, that rhymed. An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air, sniffing me. Mm. Oh, you dear children. Are we almost there? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. Dirty, rotten liar. Ah, good. Come, yes. Children, don't Come, children. Blah blah blah. The old woman offered them two enormous oh, man. lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. Lollipops. You see, That's just what you need after being starred forever. Giant lollipops. Still licking their sweets. Followed. Can we? Can we get off the swan ride now? Oh, ah, frickin' frack! What is she changed? She these stuff to do a cage. Yeah, that's nice. I can't turn fully around. There could be something in the back of the swan, and I won't even know it. Good mouthful, cause I'm an old cannibal. Can we? Can we speed up this, uh, this little swan ride here? I would love to just take a paddle out and, you know, get the heck out. Yep. Good plan. Good plan, Hansel. Someone decides to eat you, you refuse to eat and get fat. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this reminds me of, uh... Was it the visit? I remember... Why would she listen to him? Oh, false. That scared me. Oh, good job. Good job, Gretel. Good job. Yeah. Into the oven. Whoopity boop boop boop. Which, 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 which is which? She's now a sandwich. And together. So now one of them paninis. A panini. Please. 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 Oh, hey. Which was cooked. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. And then they ate her. Oh, balls! Oh! Oh, they did eat her! Wait! Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, what? Whoa, wait, hold, wait, you can't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't be... Did you see that? They had like... They had little... Ah! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, the swan! Oh, stop it! Yeah, you turn right back around and you know it's good for you! Great googly moogly. Okay, we're getting off the swan. Please, exit! 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 I wanna, I wanna get me up on this road. Oh, I don't wanna. <laughs> it's gonna like give me one last spook before I get off. I just know it. I went out. I went out. I went out. I went out. Please get me off this dumb ride. I don't want to do it again. No, sirree, Bob. Uh, you stupid swan. That wasn't worth it at all. Callum wasn't there. Stupid goose had decided to rotate like it's a freaking demonically possessed child. And and Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Did did you even read the part where they ate her? The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. She's Louise. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. You know, you spend your your days daydreaming a little too much. Candy, looking for the sweetness that could take Maybe if you weren't daydreaming the whole time, your son wouldn't have gotten lost in a freaking creepy park. Branches reach like claws. Oh. And because children cannot survive on candy alone you know they decided to eat that old lady yeah that's a great idea nope 
Oh, there's a there's a thing. Accident. This place. Oh, here we go again. Oh, this is this is blood. Well, I'm gonna regret this one, aren't I? Oh, balls. Is that the bear? Is that a person? Ah, balls. Freaking frack. Oh, I'm out. Before that. <laughs> that stupid squirrel gets out of here. Maybe a squirrel's coming. Can I open the back door? Oh, no, it's this front door here. Oh, here, here's a note. Despite constant interruptions to work, the island park will be open on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbons, so only the real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative. That caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. He's a terrible thing, John Henderson. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this place, if it has just all been for nothing. Callum, why did you go? Callum. Stop being a little snot, Callum. Yeah. Can I run? Alright. No. By the way, Callum, I'm not Hansel and Gretel's mom. I didn't abandon you. Ooh, look, there's the, the Ferris wheel. Isn't that oh! Wasn't that quaint? I like that. Let's go let's go check that out. Come out, sweetie. A trail? What trail are we talking about here? Isn't that quaint? I want to go this way. Let's go this way instead. Is there a trail over here? Callum, do you not even exist in the first place? What's going on over here? Can I go in the water? No. Note to self. Never touch water again. Never, never exist over water. Never go on stupid boat rides with a swan head that looks like it's ready to eat you. You know, and I'm having a bad feeling about this one too. Why does it have nasty looking teeth? This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. That's examine the report. I can't imagine Wait, it has like six eyes. Hello, Cthulhu. What? Park incident, officer on duty, sheriff, bannerman, Kunoma, blah blah blah. Statement, we were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making a nice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence, Lawrence wanted to go, oh, I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the heebie-jeebies. It's silly, I know. No, it's, it's quite, quite, quite accurate. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at that ice. At first, we, th we thought he was making some animal, like a, a tiger, or maybe some sort of liger. As more and more ice fell away, when you when you first looked, it was like a human face, smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw there was something not, not quite right about the, the, the proportions there. Something unnatural, it made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were, you were prey, and that thing, that thing in the ice was a hunter. These teenagers walked up, one of them made a face at the cabin and said something rude to the guy in the shipmunk suit. With that, well, he just plump went berserk. The suit was, it was just chaos. Everyone was run away from the guy, or one of the teenagers was on the ground. He was, he was stab, stab, stabbing at him with the ice pick and blood was just plump sprayed everywhere. People were screaming, and Frank and I, we, we had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. We were, by golly. The last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that was, was the eyeball of that uh, one of those pro kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the whole creature look look more or less alive. Oh, where is the ice sculpture? Yeah. Well, we don't see any ice sculpture around here. By golly, good on you, Frank. Good on you. We're just gonna. That's not a sweet way to say it, Callum. Wait for mommy. 
That's such a weird examine Polaroid. I do not want to get on this. Let's uh, look. I remember this. Why is just a random Polaroid of us just, just chilling here? Could I get on this ride if I wanted to? No. Oh, I can ride it. I can't get on while it's moving. Okay. Let's decrease the speed. So how do I plan on? How do I plan on jumping in this baby? I can't get on while it's moving. This is such a bad idea. Like, not even horror game characters, or horror movie characters are this dumb. Like, okay, so I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna ride it, right? Okay, here we go. But how does it start up again? Right, okay, it started up. Here we are. Oh, and something's gonna, gonna be, oh, here we go. It's almost as if, by getting in this, I knew I was going to spook myself. As if I played the game originally in the first place to spook myself. Ah! Okay, oh, what the heck was that? Oh, hello! Oh, dude, that thing is freaking sick! Where'd it go? What is going on? Is that Mr. Mr. Disney? Walt, Walt Disney? Walt Disney? Let's, let's increase the speed. Let's... Come back. Come, come back. Was it this way, Mommy? Was it this way? Eh. Alright. Don't hide from me, Callum. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna go this way. Hmm. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip. Was that the... our insights. Oh, I thought that was the, the bear for a second. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. Mm. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, fallen thing, and I thought, is that it? <laughs> we build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And he shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. Oh dear. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. What? Man, you get Parent of the Year award. Oh, there's a person in there. I swear I saw it. Oh. Let's look at there really fast. Oh, please don't. I swear there's a person. But working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun. But the end of the season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. Most of the gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve, see? Even I'm starting to call him Chad. And I went to high school with the guy. It's a gosh darn suit. I think it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush. The local lush is Chad the Chipmunk. Child-friendly mascot on Life of Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. Hmm. The more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was just little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. Let him do that. But I saw him at Susie's Diner, still wearing it. It wasn't even a work day. Ooh. Some of the staff complained discreetly to the park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter that one day. Nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. Apparently he picked up some new skills since last time I talk him, saw him peeking in the gutter outside of Sequoia Station because sure as heck can carve a mean ice sculpture. Shapes he makes in the ice, though. They give me creeps. Steve came by the booth today looking mean, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but he seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. Oh my. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor when he came by. Chad and Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. Don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Callum, come back. Ah! I knew that was gonna freaking flip her up a bridge up. 
Uh, I knew that I was it was gonna do that, but uh, I knew I was gonna do that. I spent too long reading the note. That's dumb. It's dumb. Everything in this party is dumb. This is dumb. Why would anyone create a, a thing that looks like this? This is not... Kids don't like this. It's some sort of duck lizard mutant thing. It's definitely not mutant and proud. Ugh. Hello? Good grief. Can't catch me. Callum, I know. My mom jeans are way too tight. Callum, are we? Crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Well, here we go. Hopping on another ride where my son is not on. Because I am just that kind of parent. Ooh. What is this? Oh, what in the balls? <laughs> Why am I? That was weird. Whoa, is any of this real? Am I real? Is Callum real? That was one of the first thoughts that popped into my head when I was playing this. Is Callum even real? Was this day even real to begin with? Was I here at all? Where did you go? That sounded really close. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. You sound really close, Callum. That's up with the, the bubble. Am I maybe like in a psych? Oh, great. An accident report. Oh. Am I in like a psych ward? This Maybe this is deeper than even uh, the evil within. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attached to loading to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the car. You know... Aside from the crushing, that sounds hilarious. Describe any injuries... Uh, any uh, Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. Oh, sucks to suck. The injured employee see a doctor? Yes. If yes, did you find an employee's portion of workers' compensation for... Yeah, well, he's dead. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. He's been... Lug, lug, lug. It could have been done to prevent this accident incident. Double checking the straps after transit should be mandatory. And drug screens for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been correcting? No. Great. Photocopy. The local laborers are very superstitious, and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to work until we have someone from the local church walk apart. <laughs> Was. What is what is going on? Oh, bumper ball! Bumper ball! I'm bumper boned! I'm bumper boned! Woo! Woo, there it goes! Woo! Woo, doggy! Well, what else am I gonna stay where you do? Are. Just, yeah, just, just stay where you are. Callum, you better not be a baby inside this cart here. You, you better not. Okay, you're not. I'm Callum. I'm not. Oh, I'm not a fan of shadows. That just means more shadows can pop up behind me. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Ah, good to know. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Can you please not tell me your life story while this creepy violin music is creeping down my creeping creeping my boy through the window neck and like what I saw in his eyes judgment judgment he wrote me the ticket without saying a word just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad when he gave it to me our eyes met you suck I know what you're going through my daughter Helen she just get some help no help was a bolt of lightning help was a thousand volts surging through my veins help is agony. 
I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. Boy, oh boy. Instead, my mouth said, yes, yes sure. sure. Alan, where did you go? I wonder if uh, there's more babies. Stay where you are. Well, why is there two of the bubbles now? Alan, why did you go? Uh, oh, I am not going to like this. Uh, the shadows gave me a little, gave me a spook. Here we go. Um, whenever I read something... Nothing ever good comes of it. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals, and so they believe a lot of rumors of what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales, and every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Well, you know what? It seems pretty accurate right now, Buster Roo. Of course, that is why I chose this site over all the other potentials. What? Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here? It makes my skin crawl? I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and turns out that old man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something you wrote will help me find. Okay, so something's gonna spook me. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe not this time. Where are you, Callum? Callum, are you? Callum? Are you on this? This ride here? I better check up. I better. I better ride it just in case. I better jump on the ride just in case. Okay, this is. Better just just check it out. Chickity check it before I get riggedy wrecked. Don't be afraid. Alright, we're gonna just decrease the uh, your speedy here. Cause this is gonna go well. You must be this right now. Ride the Ferris wheel. Here we go. Come with me. Ah. Okay, I'm calling it. Someone's gonna appear in the seat across from me. I just know it. I can't watch. I cannot watch. Uh, balls. Balls. I'm never gonna go to a freaking amusement park after this again. Or maybe something's gonna climb at me. Can we can we get on a ride and not something creepy happen? How about that? How about that? People come into your life for a reason. Actually, it's a pretty nice view though. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. Hmm. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. Mm -hmm. Dinner with some workers, but we didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he went there's going to be something home. creepy on this. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. Okay, keep reminiscing. As long as you reminisce, I I can't get spooked. I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Oh, sucks to suck. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the. Are you serious? Don was there one moment. And then gone. I would never freaking ride this ride. Why would you? Why would you ever go here if your husband died? Fairy tale fucking over. Yeah, that ride, that that tale of ease totally put me in a place of happiness. Of writing, waiting to get spooked. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, is there gonna be a guy down there just waiting for me? And I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for. Oh, there's Mr. Mr. Skull and Crossbones. There he is, just chilling on the operating controls. Thanks, bro. Thank you. You know, if that was me, if that was me 
sitting in that stupid little little Ferris wheel. Seeing that guy here, controlling everything. I would not have broken eye contact with him. No sorry, Bob. Also, why is it so freaking creepy? Coming, yeah, creaky, not creepy. I mean, it's creepy too, but it's also more creaky. Okay, there's the stupid... Is there... Okay. We're just gonna make it a little faster. Maybe I can make it, like, fall off. Let's see if I can find something in any one of these. I'm not a fan of this music, let me tell you. I bet I'm gonna find Chad in there. Chad the Squirrel. Nope. Nope, not in that one. Let me tell you, I am taking a step back. Chad, you in here, buddy? You got my kid? No. 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 No, sorry. Maybe I'm missing something in here. Maybe there's something else in here. No? It's probably gonna appear in one of those boxes as soon as it goes by. What if I increase speed until it freaking goes crazy? Let's just, let's just keep going. This seems safe. No, this seems like a Cards Against Humanity card waiting to happen. This is spooky. This is really freaking spooky, actually. I'm scaring myself more right now than I am ever on the ride. Okay, we gotta we gotta cut this out. We we gotta we gotta stop the it's screaming too much. We're gonna mosey this down back to zero. Yes siri Bob. Yes siri Chad. No more. We're just gonna We're gonna drop you back down here. We're gonna drop you down to a nice nice delicate speed. There we go. And we're just gonna get the heck out of this place. That's right. I think we're done. I think we are done here. I think we can go. Where are you, Callum? Stay where you are. Oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh buddy, oh boy. And more kids now? Callum, tell mommy where you are. No. Okay. Actually, after that delightful trip down memory Ferris wheel. I think it's time to call the first episode of the park, but it is certainly a creepy. I wonder. I wonder if that the 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 ride operator is the the owner of the park after he's deceased, because it doesn't seem like he might be around anymore. Some I bet Chad killed. Him. Oh, he was actually he was he was hanging around Chad, right? So maybe he did something to Chad, or maybe they both got possessed by whatever crazy Indian burial ground voodoo shenanigans happened here. I don't know. That Mr. Henderson is not a nice guy. Maybe that was Mr. Henderson controlling the rides. So many questions. Very little answers. Uh, and we'll maybe, maybe, just maybe find out some next time I play this. But thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. She's not my friend. She has all those friends. <laughs> Dylan, save me! Ten seconds! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I hate the beat! Ah! Okay, burn the body. Are those matches? No, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. I don't know what to do. It's not. She's right behind me, isn't she?